In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add any text on a curved surface, like a bottle as we can see here, and we'll learn how to keep the text very clean, or how to keep it free from any deformation. So here is our model, and we'll add a text on this curved surface. If you follow our method, you need to ensure that your axis orientation is like this, which means, the positive x-axis should be this way. Now let's hide our bottle model, and then go to the Add menu, and add a simple cube. We need to also add a material to this cube, so we will go to the Materials tab and create a new material. You can customize the color and other things, this is going to be the material for our text. We will convert this cube into text, although Blender also comes with a text option, but it does not give us a clean text, so we will rather use a better method. We'll create our text using geometry nodes, so split the screen into half, and open geometry nodes here. If we click on the new button, we'll get these two default nodes, but we can completely get rid of them. Then let's go to the add menu, and from the input group, under constant, we'll pick up a string node, and add it to our node tree. Then you can press shift E, to duplicate this node, as many times as you need. We are duplicating it three times since we want to add three lines of text on the bottle, and we can enter our text here. Now go to the add menu, and under the utilities group, go to the text submenu, and add a node called special characters, for a new line. Then again in the add menu, go to utilities, and add a join strings node, to combine the three lines of our text. We have to connect the line break to the delimiter input of this node, and then connect the individual text nodes to this bucket, and remember that you have to connect them in the correct order. Now, connect the string's output, to another important node called, string to curve, that will give us the actual text output. There are multiple options in this node, like we can change the font from here. Or we can change the text orientation to say center, and later we'll discuss about the other options for this node. Now connect this node to a fill curve node, which will create a face data for each text character, and then connect it further to a node called realize instances, which will convert the curves data into mesh output. Let's then subdivide the output with a subdivide mesh node, for a smooth appearance of the text. Then we'll connect it to a set material node, to assign a material for our text, and here we can select the material. Finally, we will go to the add menu, and add a group output node. It will give us the final result, so we need to connect our node tree to this group output. And we'll get a text output, that works better than a text object, when you try to bend it or when you use a shrink wrap. But you may need to rotate this text object, based on the position of your target model, so select the text, and in the object properties, we'll change the X rotation to 90, and the Z rotation to also 90. Then we need to move it up, and bring it out to the front, so we'll slowly increase the X location like this. We have to ensure that the text is just outside the model, and not far away. You can adjust it visually, or use a value close to the dimension of the bottle. Now we have to also move it up, so let's go to the side view mode, and increase the Z location value. We can see that the text is quite bigger than the target object, so we need to reduce its size. Remember that we created our text using geometry nodes, so you can either reduce the size by scaling it down, or within this node tree, you can change these fields to customize the text. So let's change the font size to say 0.85, and the line spacing can be 0.75. Now this looks good, but since we reduced its size, we need to bring it down a little more, to position it at the middle of the bottle. So we are done with the rotation and the placement of the text. Next we have to bend it around the bottle, which means the text object should follow the curvature of this surface. So go to the add menu, and add any one empty from here. This empty, should have the same position as that of the text object, so let's select the empty, and change these location values. In other words, they should have the same origin. And we have to change this X rotation angle to 90. Please remember that this step is very important in this method. Now select the text again, and go to the modifiers tab. We have the geometry node here, let's minimize this, and then we'll add a modifier from the deform group, which is called simple deform modifier. We have to switch over to the bend option, and then in this guiding object, we have to select our empty that we have just added, and for the bend axis we'll select this Y axis. Now if we change this bend angle, in the negative, the text will slowly bend around our target object. But we need to make it more perfect, so let's add some thickness to the text, using a solidify modifier, just temporarily. Now go to the top view mode, and zoom in, so that we can easily check the result of this bending. You can experiment with this bend angle, and change its value, 
until it visually matches with the curvature of this bottle. Once it looks good, we can get rid of this solidify modifier. In the next step, we need to project the text on the surface of the bottle model, so let's minimize this, and we'll add another modifier, from the deform group, called shrink wrap modifier. Then, in the target object, if we select our bottle, the text will appear on the bottle, but we see that the text is almost overlapping with the model, so we need to change this offset field, to 0.001. Now we can hide the empty, to get a clean view of the text. However, if we go to the rendered view, we'll discover that the text projection is not very good, at some places there are small deformations, so we need to rectify the text in the geometry nodes. But we don't see anything in this editor, that's because we have to first highlight the geo node modifier, only then the nodes will display. Now in this subdivide mesh node, if we increase this level to say 4, we will get a very smooth text, and the text projection on the round surface will look very perfect. And please remember that your original model also need to be smooth, so use a subdivision surface modifier for your model if needed. Now the last thing is, if we try to move or rotate this bottle, the text won't move correctly, so let's again bring back the empty. Now we have to select the text object, then select the empty, and finally, select the bottle at the very end, then press Ctrl P to bring this menu, and select object keep transform. Now you can freely move or rotate the bottle, the text and the empty are now tied to the bottle with a parent-child relationship, and they will move together. So this is how we can attach any label or any text on a curved surface, and the text is very clean. In a similar way you can also attach any logo, just replace the text object with a picture. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.